It's time for Uncle Hank. Question everything with M. Kalani Souza and Uncle Hank Ferguson. Hey there, gang. Welcome back to Uncle Hank, where we question everything. I'm the Reverend Kalani Souza, and joining me on this World Water Day. That's right. You heard me right. It's World Water Day. This World Water Day, we got a message about the state of water and the health of water here in Hawaii. And of course, joining me to deliver that message, our ever beloved Uncle Hank. Uncle Hank, good to see hey, you, man. Everybody. Hello, am I? So, so welcome on World Water Day. Yes, yes. Everybody, let's pray for that water because we need water. We do. I think it's really important that we update on what's going on at Red Hill with the military. Uh, Red Hill? Is, yeah, Red Hill. Um, we did a previous video on, on Red Hill. So just so you know what's happening is that um, the Navy, the Navy has fuel storage tanks in the Red Hill area uh, by the Halava, by Halava Aquifer. Anyway, so what's happened in the last couple of weeks is that they leaked a whole bunch of fuel into the water. Now they're trying to cover up and figure out how to get out of this situation that they're in. Um, Brian Schatz has, has gotten, the, gotten some money for, for the cleanup. But here's, here's the thing that's going on that, that's really important to understand. The Navy right now is stop blocking everything by, by doing a countersuit against the state's mandate that they defuel for public health concerns because that, that fuel is only 100 feet above our largest aquifer on the island of Oahu. So this is really important because this, this is a legal trick that, that clowns like lawyers use to stall. It's a stall tactic. And it, it's, it's even, you know, this is an emergency situation. This is a mandate. This is a, a, a public health emergency. But the Navy thinks that, uh, well, you know what? Uh, we'll just stall you for a little bit with legal maneuvers and um, we might get around to it. And it's like, gang, we got to understand what's going on here because this is the same people that came and invaded the Hawaiian kingdom in 1893. Okay. This is very important to understand because this is the kind of arrogance that the United States uses continuously. On so let me, let me get this straight. You mean this, this is the same organization, the same guys who in January 17, 1893 actually helped to illegally overthrow the legal Hawaiian government? Yes, that's exactly right. That's exactly what you're saying is correct. Okay. So, I mean, uh, uh, can we expect any better behavior from them this time around? You know, you would like to think so. But the fact of the matter is, don't count on it. Because these guys, you know, they've, they've never been good players anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world, especially in the Pacific. And now that the, now that they're building up the whole Pacific campaign, we have a lot of problems at our hand. Because they're going to... Are, aren't we still leaking radiation from their post-World War II we're, experiments we're in the Pacific? Well, that's, this is really kind of a rough thing on this World Water Day. It looks like we really need some prayers for the waters of the Pacific and certainly the waters of Hawaii and maybe even the people of Oahu. Yes. Well, the people of Hawaii, period. The people of the Pacific, people everywhere. We need water. We need clean water. water. We cannot take an excuse from the military why we can't have that. OK, and and so the use of, of, of legal tactics to stall, that just shows you the caliber of people we're dealing with. They have no conscience. Let's okay? address they the don't... problems with the water. Let's get the water cleaned up. Yes, let's get the water cleaned up. And, you know, uh, I, I have to say this, all this showboating that's going on between between the, the military and the senators and all that kind of stuff. This is a show. This is a dog and pony show because they're all looking like they're going to do something right. I want to see them actually do it. I like to see it one time that they actually do right. Well, no question about it, gang, right here and Uncle Hank. Uncle Hank wants to see them do it right. I think that is the right thing to do. Ew. Ew. Anyway, everybody, 
Thank you so much for joining us. Happy World Water Day. Happy World Water Day. Water Day. Come be a part of a minority view. Ao hippo ike, ikahalau ho okahi.